Hello everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is just going to be an empties video since I haven't done one in a while. It's just products that I've used up recently and I have them in this bag so I'm just going to go through them in no particular order. It's a bunch of random stuff. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that I have is this Johnson's Baby Oil and I took this with me to New York for my brother's graduation and this is, you know, just the travel size. It's three ounces and I always, when I get out of the shower after I finish, while my skin is still wet, I always put some type of oil on because my skin is kind of dry and, you know, then I just pat my skin and it leaves the moisture in and then I put lotion on it so uh, I've been using baby oil for years uh, for that purpose and I also use the Le Octane one but this was what I used for travel and it's all gone now love it will always use some type of oil in the shower after I finish Next thing I used up were these Neutrogena Makeup Cleansing Wipes and I, I don't know, I always use these. I've been using them for years actually. And this is just the travel size, so there's seven in here. I usually buy like the big package from Costco and it has like multiple sizes, but I like to use these for travel, the smaller size and like I said I've been using this for years and I love these they take off all of my makeup um, all of the waterproof eye makeup I really don't have a problem with getting it off so uh, I actually don't use waterproof mascara though even though it says it will dissolve waterproof mascara I do use waterproof eyeliner but anyway, um, I like these. They do have a little bit of oil, I guess, and that breaks down the makeup. But then I always wash my face, um, you know, with some type of cleansing product or soap-like and then water. So that doesn't bother me, um, but I love these. Next thing I used up was this Pixi Glow Tonic. And I think I, well, I know I did feature this in a favorites a little while ago and I love this stuff it has aloe vera ginseng and it has 5% glycolic acid I've been using this for probably over a year now and it's just a staple it's a toner and it's great for all skin types and it just keeps my skin free of acne it you know balances it out so it doesn't dry my face and it keeps like little dry patches away even though I have oily skin but it's great so I use this every day um, some people use it like every other day or a couple times a week but this is a great product and I absolutely love it next item I have here is this one and only argan oil it's an oil treatment and I just use it for my hair and I actually only use it when my hair is like this when it's in its naturally curly state because it's a little thick it says it's for shine frizz control protects your color and it doesn't have any alcohol in it but yeah I only use it like when my hair is curly just to give it moisture and so it doesn't look so dull and it just absorbs it it doesn't make my hair greasy or oily feeling or weigh it down if I used it when it was straight it would probably uh, make my hair uh, fall or look greasy and all that stuff so I only use it when my hair is curly and I love this stuff and sorry I purchased this at Sally's. Next product I used up was this Endless Glove hand cream which is by Soap and Glory and I love this one. This one is a little bit more moisturizing I find than the other one and I had another one here. 
Um, anyway, they're actually the same. Uh, two endless glove ones. But anyway, this is the Two in Hand Moisture Mask Hand Cream, and I actually like this one a little bit better than uh, the original one. And I like the way it smells. It's, like I said, it's a little bit more moisturizing. I got it at Sephora, and I don't know. Fortunately, Sephora is no longer carrying Soap and Glory products, but I understand they will be available in places like Target or maybe Walgreens, things like that. And you can also get them on the Soap and Glory website. The next item I have here is this L'Oreal L Net hairspray and it's the extra strong hold and I like this. I've been using this for a while actually. And I like it just because it holds your hairstyle. I basically use it when my hair is straight to hold the hairstyle but it doesn't make your hair all sticky and stiff and it still leaves your hair manageable and then you can just comb it and your hair will go back to normal so your hair is not all sticky and sticking up and whatever you can still style it so I love this stuff um, I don't know you can get it at various drugstores or Ulta any drugstore Love it, and I will definitely always repurchase that. Next item I used up is this Murad Oil Control Mattifying Moisturizer, and I've been using this for a couple of years. I love it. It is one of the things that helps control my oily skin on my face. It has SPF and PA++ and it's SPF 15 so I like the fact that it has SPF in it and it just really controls the oil it's one of the things I will always purchase it's one of the only things that I've ever found to control the oil on my oily face so absolutely love this stuff if they discontinue it I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with myself so I purchased this from Sephora and love it. Next item I have here is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix number two. And I don't know, it's just empty. This is a, I'd say it's a decent product. It's a makeup setting spray. And the, you know, it's decent for the makeup setting properties, I would say. But I like the Ben I one better if you're going for like all day uh, you know where your makeup doesn't budge I think that one is better like I said this is an okay product what I don't like about it is the nozzle like it sprays too much so for I think for makeup setting um, it should be more of a finer mist like the Urban Decay mists are so uh, yeah I like their spray bottles a lot better this one like will spray big drops of fluid on your face and that's not what you want so that was a little irritating so I don't think I would repurchase this again the next thing that I have here is just this mini oil of Olay body wash and I use this when I travel this size and it's actually a product that I've used for years this exact one this is the one with shea butter and I use it in the shower like the big size all the time I get it from Costco and I don't know why I really don't venture out much as far as body washes from oil of Olay body washes I just think they're excellently made they're moisturizing they lather up very well and they always smell good and I don't know they were one of the first on the market uh, with body washes and I've just never really ventured out too much from them the next product I have here is this NARS radiant creamy concealer and this is another staple in my makeup stash I always will purchase this I purchased this like the first week or so whenever it came out and I love it and I'm in the color Amande medium dark 3 
and um, I always just repurchase these like when they have the Sephora BIB sales because like I said I always use this it doesn't really crease and it has great coverage and it doesn't make your face so flat and I just love it and let me show you what the wand looks like so that's the wand it's just you just dab it on and it's not too thick not too thin and great product next product I have here is a mascara it is the Clinique bottom lash mascara I love this stuff I think I always talk about this and it's another staple I usually buy a bunch of these when they have their sale at Sephora this is amazing for your bottom lashes it it has this little tiny brush and it just coats your lashes very well like all of your tiny little lashes and I use it like for the inner corners of my upper lids and outer top lids and it doesn't flake which is what I really like about it because sometimes your bottom mascara will you'll end up with little flakes on it but this doesn't flake at all and it's just a great mascara and it's easy to remove it's not waterproof but it stays where it's supposed to stay and it's easily removable next item I have is this benefit roller lash and I actually like this mascara and the wand it's a nice curvy wand so it does curl your lashes and it holds mine very well I like the formula of it but what I don't like is that it seems to dry out pretty fast so I don't like that about it I wish they had hopefully they will get like smaller sizes I don't know I just tend to like the smaller ones because when the larger ones when you pay this much for mascara and you have the larger ones and then they dry out really quick it just irritates me or frustrates me okay the next item I have is another mascara and this is the Gucci mascara I tried this I actually think I like the formula but this is something like I like the brush because it has like a little comb type brush and I I don't know I heard the formula was really good I honestly can't remember because I only used it a few times and it was like all dried out in like a very short time so I don't know if I got a bad one or what but anyway it's expensive so I was just irritated that it dried out so I love the packaging but like I said I was irritated that it dried out so quickly all right the next item I have is this right here this is the NARS Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, and it has SPF 30. I love this stuff. So this is a definite staple for me. It's the color Shea Shea Shells is my color in medium dark too, and I love this stuff. So it's just a tinted moisturizer. It does has SPF 30 in it, which I love and I will wear this just as like a foundation um, my skin has been doing a lot better so I don't really like to wear full coverage foundation and this just doesn't leave your face feeling really heavy and I always I don't know for some reason when I wear this I get compliments on it so I don't know I just love it it doesn't make your face look really flat or heavy uh, just kind of leaves your skin looking natural and it has a little bit of a, a glow but it doesn't leave my skin looking really oily so I don't know I love this um, I just do <laughs> alright so the next thing I have here is this facial moisturizer this is by Peter Thomas Roth and it's the mega rich intensive anti-aging cellular cream and I love this stuff I've used it ever since I won it in a giveaway from pink to Paris's channel here on YouTube I I won a giveaway of hers and this was in the kit so I've always repurchased this but unfortunately Sephora no longer carries this 
or I think they don't make this exact one anymore so they have a substitute of one that's similar to this which I do like but I was just still sad that they don't make this exactular exact one anymore um, but I love this it's moisturizing it doesn't break my face out it is a little expensive but um, it's a great product and my last item I have is just a candle from Bath and Body Works this is actually kind of like a fall or maybe I got it around Christmas time I can't remember it's called tailgate as in like the football season so you see there's a little football on here but then it has fall leaves so I don't know for some reason I can't remember it's either fall or Christmas scent but you know me I don't really follow the rules in that sense if something smells good I just uh, I don't know I'll just wear it so wear it or burn it no matter what time of the year it is so anyway it's empty it's a great scent I guess you could say it's more on the masculine side and it kind of smells like uh, a man's a men's uh, fragrance perfume or something like that and I love it it doesn't give off like a huge uh, throw but it's a very it's a very nice scent so anyway uh, that's it for my empties. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be back later on this week with other videos. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a great week. Bye.